Hey guys, what's up? Stark here. And today I'm going over a really, really quick one. Uh, this is just how to do smoke and how to integrate it way better with your environment. It's funny because this one is super simple and it's one of the things that you see, especially on most videos where people are like, here's my visual effects. And then there's an explosion and everybody calls out how it doesn't look correct. Like something about the explosion doesn't fit. Like they may have a perfect track but it's like the colors off or something like that. And usually I would say it's mostly the smoke, not so much the fire because it's self-illuminated. That does factor into it, obviously, because you have to still like color match it to the scene, but mostly the smoke is the dead giveaway. So I found this scene that just, it's super flashy, okay? And I went ahead and I already tracked it just to save you guys watching me do it. It's gonna go super quick. And this is almost very similar to the previous uh, tutorial of the lens grime, okay? And one of the themes, again, I keep bringing up is everything in compositing is just passing data, switching mat or using mats, stuff like that. So what we're going to do is I have this smoke thing right here, okay? And I'm actually, just for now, I'm going to put it into screen mode because we're going to actually pre-comp it. But this is mostly because I just want to find like a good area right here and what we're going to do is attach it to the track let's try this sorry attach it to the track so now we have this guy moving and a lot of times this is something people do and they'll put it in like screen and then they'll they'll do this and then maybe come in here and like uh let's do a hue saturate and then uh let's just change to well, let me bring this out you colorize. Terrible. I mean, this isn't good at all, you know? I mean, it's doing the whole thing, but you, you get the point. Mostly on the, the smoke is what I'm talking about. So what we're actually going to do is duplicate this guy. And again, going really fast here, we're going to just pre-comp it, and we're going to call this our smoke, okay? And I'll worry about that in a second. I'm not going to do the overlay. But what we're gonna do is, first of all, let's turn on motion blur because the camera's moving and it is tracking, okay? And then we're gonna shut off our smoke. We'll shut off our track just to get this in there. And then we're gonna just do a luma mat, okay? Now, if we go back, it's not gonna show up because it's literally just the exact same copy, okay? Or let me actually get it to where it's at and then show you here. So what we could do is two things. One is we're going to do a box blur. Box fast box blur. We'll change it to, to uh, let's say 30. Okay. But not on the smoke. Sorry. <laughs> on the concert. And what this does is it's going to give us just the general light as you could see. Okay. And because it is smoke, it's a it's a volume. So I'm gonna actually put this in additive mode instead of screen on the next one up. It's not gonna make too much of a difference, but it's just one of those things that makes me feel better about. But as you could see, just blurring this and then using it, we're gonna get those the light looking like it's scattering inside. Now, one of the things I would say is, if, say this was an outdoor shot where it's just sort of like a blue sky, I would still say use this method on your smoke, but like blur it out more because here's the thing. Let me shut this off really quick and then I'll just solo and then turn no track mat. If you look, there's very distinct rays of light coming off here. Okay. And that's why I didn't blur it like too much because if I did, it just, it wouldn't look right. So let me just undo. So if I did something like this, it's a bit, eh, it just doesn't look right. Especially cause down here, the audience is dark. Let's go back, make sure everything's up correctly. Blending mode, we'll add an add. Okay, so cool. So we have this guy, we have our motion blur, and then we're just gonna go up. I kinda don't want that to leave where it's at. I want it to be more centered, so. Yeah, like this. So when we go back up, you're gonna see that it's blocking it, and then we'll just go here, we'll put it into an additive mode. 
and then we will do a curves adjustment just to kind of bring it up. Okay, so we'll just 30 right there. And you can see how it, because the lights are distinct, how it kind of goes in there, right? So that's kind of, it's really good. And when the dark areas, it, it doesn't. It's not going to really light it up, especially down here with audiences. So we'll go back to the concert and you'll start to see that it's not so much showing up here. So what we could do is just add a curves adjustment. We're going to kind of really kind of clamp it a lot. So now you get this whole thing and you kind of get this bloom around here. So it really fits in and it's, it's also tracked and has the motion blur. Now the only other thing I would say is if you look when the lights are on, it's kind of blurry here. So we could just go ahead and add a camera lens blur. And I'll put it down to like three, something like that. But it's cool, especially when it gets dark and then you have this, it's almost like the rays are going through. But again, you could just, let's make a new viewer because I do this a lot when I have to do uh, pyro stuff, actually. So if you lower that, it's going to be more distinct, and you'll get more of a halo-y thing, whereas if you blow it out too much, you'll get kind of that. It's exactly like the other one, so maybe that isn't too bad. Maybe like a little bit over 100. So I'll close this out. Go to our concert. Maybe. Bring this down just so we're getting the general colors. And there you go. You can see, especially here, so it kind of looks very integrated. So we'll just ram preview. So there you go. This is a super fast one, but try to do these little things that kind of bring your comps to a next level just because all these little details add up and they really make a difference. So that's all, guys. So I hope this helped you out. Later.